Hello guys, here we will see how to deploy a simple HTML web page in cloud. So, I will use here GCP or Google Cloud products, okay, GCP console here to deploy that HTML file. So, after deploying the HTML file, we will be able to access the web page from anywhere. So, how to deploy it? We need some VM instances. Before deploying it, I will show you what I am gonna deploy. I so I am gonna deploy this HTML file. So this is a simple uh, a, a simple snake game made by someone. I don't know the name. Okay, it just moves like this. If I press the arrow keys, it will move like this. So, I need to in the server it should move like this in the server also so here I will create an instance I will show how to create the instance so there is something error in here ok the page is reloading Okay, so I will create ins an instance here. So the instance name will be snake game one. Okay, let be the region and the zone as it is. Okay, the size will be e to micro. Here I will change the style or type of the boot text. I will change it to Ubuntu. And the person will be the latest one. I am not using ARM because I will change this type, this type to standard persistent disk. Now I need to allow all HTTP traffic inside it. I am not allowing any HTTPS traffic. The reason is simple. I am not gonna build any domain for it. I am not gonna assign any domain name to the IP address and I am also not gonna use any SSL certificate regarding it. In advance option, I will add some keys to log into the VM through putty. Here in manage access, I will add it. I need this SSH key. Where I will get that? I will get it from PuttyGen. Okay, Putty and PuttyGen comes along with Putty application, and you can search in Google, and it is free. In PuttyGen, I will generate a key for my instance. Okay, the key comment is the username. Let it be and key. And key pass press is the let it be and key one two and the key pass press is uh, the password to log into the virtual machine server. Now I need to save the private key. Also, I need to copy this whole thing and paste it to the Google Cloud Console to make it work. Here, I will paste it. Now, I will create create to create the instance. Meanwhile, I will also install and run FileZilla to drag and drop everything I have. In FileZilla, I need to make a new site. FileZilla I will make it. In FileZilla, I will make a new site. Okay, this will be snake.
the host name will be the external IP of my VM server which is here. The file transfer protocol will be HTTP. We don't need to mention here the port. It will be key file. The username. What is my username here? Is Ankit12. So the username is. Okay. Now I need to select the key file. Now I will try to connect. The password. Connected with FileZilla. Now we will try to connect using Putty. I will give the IP address or the external IP address to log into the server and go to connection SSH auth to find the key and try to log in with the key. Without the key, you won't be able to log in. Here I will give my username and password. We will update the basic things in this web server. The command is sudo apt get update or sudo apt update. We will install here Apache 2. Apache is a web server which helps the users to interact with the sub your server. So we need a web server to interact with your web page or the web application you are running in the server. So install the Apache we need to run sudo apt install Apache 2. We will type yes. So if I paste now the IP address and try to search, here I can see Apache server has been installed here. Now what I need to do, I need to go to the root folder of the Apache which is cd for www.html. This index.html file I can see from the IP address calling. So I need to replace this HTML file with my preferred own HTML file. Okay, so replace this, we just need to follow some basic step. First step is to modify the HTML folder to use it from FileZilla. Because if I try to use it from FileZilla without modifying, the command what will happen I will show you let's say I am trying to copy paste everything in the cd var folder let's move to the cd var folder here I am going to var here I am going to www. Here I am going to HTML. If I try to delete or anything from this server without modifying the permission of the sub server, it won't be happening. It will show permission denied. To enable the permission, we need to modify the permission of HTML. So how we will modify, first we will change the owner of html, it will be sudo ch1 hyphen capital R, owner will be snake m1, the folder is html. Sorry, the uh, 
here I am miss the owner name. Owner name will be Ankit12. Servant name is nickm1. Now I will also change the executable permission by ch mod. This will be 755 and also the folder name is html here after this i can simply copy paste here not copy the key I will overwrite the HTML file. Now, if I go to the web server now and try to refresh it, here you can see the game is loaded. Now, try to play the game. The game is running well and fine. Okay, thank you. So, this is how I can move any HTML page to a web server using Club. And I can open this IP address anywhere and play the game. Suppose I am opening another browser, which is Opera browser here, and paste the IP address and I can go and play the snake game here also so to make it a website i just need to get a domain name and also the ssl certificate to make the connection secure so these things i've done in my other videos you can watch that i have explained everything in my node.js video you can watch that in the videos but in the in also in the those videos will be also in the description thank you for watching it